I think it's really important for chefs to go to the market because when you start going to the market, even if you just go once a month, because then you'll see the seasons change. Because custard apples aren't in season all year and neither are mandarins, neither are cherries or, or whatnot. But we need, really need to utilise things that are in season and we, and we just need to get back in touch with seasonality. So the custard apple, tropical fruit, doesn't really belong in the Hawkesbury but you know I'm an advocate for it, love it, used it a lot in my last career um, in desserts and they're in season now. They're in season from March till se September, mainly grown in Queensland but do work their way down to New South Wales late, later in the year, so September. There's two types, there's Pink's Mammoth and there's African Pride. This is African Pride. Uh, it has more of a smoother skin than the Pink's Mammoth and is, has got a little bit more water content in there, so not as creamy but really, really delicious. So the <laughs> The big thing about people not using custard apples is because they have got a lot of seeds in them and it's really quite annoying to seed them but there is actually a really easy way to seed them. And again, custard apples are eaten the best just as they are. Cooking, if you want to warm it, you can warm it up to 60 degrees but after that it loses its flavour. For some, for some reason it just turns into really nothing. So you can sort of warm it. Warming it in coconut cream with a bit of palm sugar is delicious. So you're cutting that central core out and then what I do is I cut it into quarters and there is a section of the custard apple here that you can see that's quite astringent and sort of tastes like a bit sandy on the palate. So we try to avoid that. So cutting around that like a big segment and then that's obviously to discard and then cutting down slowly and each time you cut down you'll hit a seed so you can you can discard the seed and the faster you do it the quicker you can remove the seeds and they pop out quite easily. And you sort of, especially if you want to blend it into a, pa into a puree, it is actually quite important that you get the seeds out. Otherwise you're going to end up with little black flecks throughout your custard apple. The beauty of them are, is, sorry, that they've got a unique flavor. It's very floral and mixed with lime juice and sugar syrup, they make a beautiful sorbet um, eaten on their own. They're just lovely and creamy. Obviously that's why they're called a custard apple. But again, just really important to remove all those seeds. And again, it's another thing that needs a little bit of acid on there just to stop it from turning uh, a brown color or oxidizing quickly. So again, just squeezing either a bit of lemon juice or fresh lime juice over there to keep the um, keep the flesh lovely and white and it is an amazing fruit to try. Brought to you by Cookers, the future of cooking oils.